The frustrated leader of the opposition in parliament in a battle for justice for the victims of human rights violation does not intend to give up yet on the struggle, like the first time when the legislators walked out of the house demanding the release of fellow MPs Alan Sewanyana and Muhammad Sejirinya. There was a feeling that this measure had delivered less than the desired result in dealing with human rights abuse. All the same, the two-week protest has ended with the players committed to raise the concerns on the floor of the House. We would go back to the House and demand that the House carries out a thorough investigation into countrywide human rights violations over the last couple of months. The leader of the opposition has backed the effort to secure the names of those who have suffered human rights violations through a registration book printed by the office for each member of parliament in each constituency across the country. We are also aware that there is a group moving around intimidating people from registering their complaints. We are encouraging people to be firm because if the worst were to happen, it already happened. And therefore, it's time to demand for justice. Meanwhile, the opposition has also faced challenges in collecting signatures for a censure motion against the Minister of Security, Jim Muhezi, but their hopes of succeeding on Thursday remain high. So far, 85 members of parliament have appended signature of the over 500 lawmakers. For us, this is a roll call. It's a roll call of sorts. To whoever believes with us, whoever believes with the, with the cause of justice for everyone, regardless of color or creed. Mathias Mpuga says he is upset by the motion for the removal of the Metiana Municipality MP Francis Zake from the Parliamentary Commission. The bid pushed by the Baradege Laibi MP Martin Ojara Mepunduzi, who is seen as an ally of the opposition. It's a very huge concern. And it's a question of personal prudence. Jackson Onyango, NTV.